What is happening? What is going on? You bunch of absolute legends. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to give you all you need to know about Blender Kits, which is an add-on that you get in Blender. In my opinion, it is the most versatile, the best add-on that you can get the most done with, in my opinion. And there is a free version, which is pretty cool, so you can try it out. And then there's obviously a paid version. Feel free to use the link in my description and you get 10% off if you get the paid version but this video is actually not sponsored by blender kit i just uh, got a 10 percent off so i thought i'd just share it with you guys but let's get into it so first thing you're going to do it like any other add-on you're going to download blender kit and you just download it and then what you'll do and then once in blender so just like any other add-on you go to edit preferences and you get extensions and then click here and then you say install from disk and you just look for wherever you've downloaded it okay then you install it like normal and then it will be in your add-ons and it will come up here if i click blender kit you can see there there it is then what you would need to do is log in or sign up and you'll get an api key that you'll need to enter sometimes and that will be here so if i so if you go here and you go to your profile then what you'll do is go to add on and you just say show api key and you just paste it in there and you'll be good to go okay and how to use it pretty simple you'll need an internet connection so yeah you'll need to have the internet because it basically searches on the internet and it downloads the models so first thing models and you can click here and and then you can search for anything so you can get a car you can get salmon rug you can get rocky planet a keyboard and it's literally you get so many so many bottles to choose from and yeah all you do when you want to bring something into blender just click on it so what you could do is let's just find something and uh, let's go with let's go with earphones okay so you just click on it it will download you can see that's why i said you need internet and then what you can do is you can click on it s scale it up and let's scale it up something like it or x180 so we can see a little bit better and then i'm just going to rotate it so boom something like that and bring it up to somewhere like this and now you can exit there and you can see yeah there we go let it load and there we go you can see there textured and it looks great so that's how you get models in blender and like i said you can search for whatever you want so if you want like a tree you can just click there and you get trees all that kind of stuff this is obviously i've got the paid version but you do get free models with the free version uh, like i said i won't know what is in this what is paid and what is free because i've got the paid version and yeah let's say you like a model so let's say i like this tree you can just click there and if i go here it will save it there okay it's that easy so if you've got like a model that you often use and yeah you use a lot you can just basically bookmark it and it saves it there i don't really use that so i'm just going to exit there close this and i'm just going to delete that okay then what's cool is you can get materials so i'm going to go shift a mesh and i'm going to go plain yes i'm going to scale it up something like that and then you can see there marble material all you do is you just drag and drop and there we go it's really that easy so if you don't like that material you want granite boom it's really really that, that easy to put there you've got leather bam and there we go so yeah it's a it is really really that easy to to create materials i'm going to delete this and yeah same thing you can bookmark materials you can search for a you can search for a material so let's say i want um, let's go with paint and just click paint hit search and you can see the painted brick painted plaster oil painting so you can see you can get so many kinds of materials next thing is you've got scenes this is pretty cool so you've got literally full scenes that you can search for so yeah you can see there you've got this you've got a ship wolf you've got this you've got this you've got that and you've got this and you can see if i just drag this in 
can just click OK. And you can see there, boom, I've got a full scene going here. It's even animated, so if I push play, it zooms in. And yeah, you can see there, I'm going to exit this timeline. Bring this back here. And you can see, like I said, full blender scene. You can then, I'm just going to delete this. I don't. So yeah, you can see there. You can see I've got some saved scenes. Boom, these are all saved. And yeah, it's a, uh, yeah, I'd say it saves you a lot of time. You don't have to create a whole scene. Obviously, you can take scenes like this and you can add your own twist to it. Same here, you could add twist to it. You could change things up. But it gives you a bit of a starting point. Something like this is pretty cool. You can do some interesting things with these kind of scenes. So I think this is one of the, the coolest ways to use Blender Kits. And then you got HDRIs. So it's there. And boom, you've got so many HDRIs. So you could do something like Polyhaven. But again, this is also drag and drop. So you can see here, uh, I've got this drag and drop. You can choose your resolution. Let's go to 2K is perfect. And I'm going to just click here. And I'm just going to click here. And there, and there we go. HDRI is in. It's really that easy. And you can adjust the strings. Just like normal, it's just literally drag and drop, which is, yeah, I think it's, it's great. And there's so many, so many HRRs, so many scenes, so many materials, so many models. So, yeah, so many lots of everything. <laughs> and these brushes, I don't really use the brushes. But yeah, it's there. There are brushes. And you can see there. This was a pretty cool, but I, I mainly use these four things. And to be honest, most of the time I just use the models. I use the models a lot because you got something to choose from. And yeah, it just saves you having, otherwise you got to go to like Sketchfab and then import it. And it just, like I said, models, boom, drag and drop. And you can create some awesome things with the Blender Kit add-on. So yeah, feel free to check out Blender Kit's 10% off if you want to get the paid version. Link in the description. And yeah, hopefully you... Are interested yeah like i said grab the free version completely free with the link in the description as well and feel free to play around with it and hopefully you can create some awesome things with it see you in the next video peace